so I can sacrifice you to the fairies. You're asking if you can kill me? Since the nightmare started, the fairies have whispered in my ear, promising power if I find sacrifices for them. They've even led me to one of their treasures from my hard work. The prettiest shard. So please, into the pool now. Fairies are tricky creatures. Are you sure that shard isn't muddling your mind? I haven't quite felt like myself lately. You could be onto something. <gasps> Take this shard far away from me, please.
gentle if they spot me. here are vigilant.
see. My eyes.
strange place. Who could have known this was on the Isle of Sky? <laughs> Easy now. Something's not right.
thing. Put an arrow in a coward's back. Time to die. More coming. I had this under control. Under control? Looks like you were about to get skewered. I can defend myself. You didn't need to come. Admit it. You missed me. Let me rephrase that. You shouldn't have come. I know my presence makes things complicated. These people are attacking me because of you. Since activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here makes reaching the artifact harder. Harder? No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. But trust me. You will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. I've seen mechanisms like this before. I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door. I can move these, I see.
Those pots and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. And you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, and to see all these things from my... my... home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. It. We make a good team. Ah, you're not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does from time to time, but it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end, you did help. Why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildaraklan. See you there.
There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... Nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. For a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat. Can't be any worse than Marcus's wine. Eivor, what do you say we find out who the real Norseman is with a little drinking contest? I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Hold your mead. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could be paint from a vase. Marcos, 
Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. My little you really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka, 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 malaka. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. To see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> he took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day, If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. Oh, 
with ice. What do you say we make that bride stay and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. Actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. Oh, it's you! Thanks for bringing me to my senses at the dairy pools. I would have missed my daughter's wedding if you hadn't. Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well. Even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What a non-forgettable night.
careful. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. What have you got for me today? Nothing else. I'll Happy hunting. There's some new things for you to look at. I would like to see what you have in stock. Anything else I can do for you? I must be on my... Goodbye, Eivor. Hello there, Eivor. Sunen, guide me.
Viking. What do you see, Sunan?
Stretch your wings, Sunan. I can out drink it all up. Step up. You speak for yourself. There you go, young man. Come on, boy. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. Strike at my balls. Evo, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Avor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I'll be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapishaya in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Eva will toughen you up, but watch your back. He's a wily one. It is always the same with me, boy. When things get too quiet, I throw daggers. <laughs> I'll be on my guard. As future Eldermen, you should speak in the talks as well, but with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That's not a recipe for a good parlay. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's what? thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Eva. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dalev and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within is warmth. The Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealarv, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain coward, stolen! Captain O'Neill, 
Explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Eva. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now's not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth a path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are wasting time! Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, that quell your bitterness while we seek peace. Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. You are wasting time! Now you dangle silver bo- uh, uh. You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what term?
Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Take the silver. Depose your brother and you'll rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. How oh, you dangle silver before him. I should report what I know to Bishop Deolov. Then you fight your battles with wealth? Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. I'm worried. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother. We used the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Eva, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar, spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! This Who is the your mistake. Keep watch on my back! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva! You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Goriad won't need the silver now. Ah! 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 Ah!
did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Eva. When you are king, Trailbird, you won't need that. Wait, where are you going? You murdered Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Cherubert killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what she really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar, and I'll send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out, attack their supplies, watch them beg for death. Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I'll meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Friend or foe? Friends. Peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodre, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line, and bring him to the table begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. Thank you. Look at this whelp. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Koran deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I am ready to duel. My bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine, and we'll see how you do. How dare you! Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row!
If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. <laughs> 